apes on horses. Do you need to know anything else? <laughs> Seriously. War for the Planet of the Apes is the third film in this movie series, and this time around, Caesar gets caught up in a conflict with a band of humans that leads to him confronting some of his darker emotions. Now I'm gonna lead this review off by addressing the title of this movie, which is War for the Planet of the Apes. And I really think that war that part of the title is kind of misleading. Don't go into this film expecting a whole like war movie with a bunch of battles and explosions. I mean, there are some battles in this movie, but really it's more of a smaller personal story with Caesar's story arc. And it's really, the, the events in this movie just really take place during the war for this planet. And with that out of the way, I gotta say I absolutely loved this film. It's so good. I mean, by itself, it's a great film, but when you pair it with the two other films before it with Rise and Dawn, you really gotta look at this as one of the great film trilogies out there. I mean, you I gotta put it up there with things like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. And it, it's just, when you look at the way that this trilogy is built and how it follows Caesar throughout his whole story arc. I mean, it's it's something to, this trilogy is just really something to be praised. Speaking of Caesar, Andy Serkis is back to reprise his role as the ape leader. And again, he gives a phenomenal performance, gives his 100% to this role. And people are gonna talk about whether he should be nominated for an Oscar for this performance. And that's for other people to discuss and to decide. I mean, and what I will say is that I'm not taking anything away from the animators and the compositors and all the people that are behind bringing Caesar on screen as a CG character. What I've come to experience and learn is that some of the best visual effects in movies ever are sort of based on something in the real world and it's sort of this blend of practical and digital. And what I would say is the practical element with Caesar's performance is Andy Serkis and you can have some of the best animators and visual effects artists out there. If you don't have a great performance to base it off of, you're not gonna come anywhere close to what you get in this film and the previous movies. And I think that is a testament to how good Andy Serkis is. And if Andy Serkis didn't give such an awesome performance in this film, I think Steve Zahn would have stole the entire movie for me. He plays this character named Bad Ape, and he's more of the comic relief of this film. And this movie is very serious with its tone and its story. And I, I'm really glad they brought a character like this and sort of lighten the move, give it a little bit more fun when you, you need it. And his character, really could have been bad news for any scene he's in, but thankfully the timing and the writing and just the overall, how they use him in this in this movie is just perfect. And I thought he stole every scene he was in. And like in Dawn, this movie features a really good adversary for Caesar to go up against with Woody Harrelson. And what makes for a good on-screen villain to me is uh, one that you can sort of understand their intentions. And you look at Woody Harrelson's character and understand that his actions are for the the greater good and for the future of humankind. And when you really look at it, his intentions are just really misguided because his character is really kind of a reflection on humanity and like how change is always sort of like confronted with fear. And when you have, when it's confronted with fear, you do drastic things. And his character really reflects that. And I think there's a pretty good portrayal of how humanity would react in this situation. I mean, we've never really been confronted with a situation like this one, but I think this is a really good uh, representation of humanity in his character. And one thing that I really loved about this movie was that it's a smaller intimate story with Caesar. I mean, the title does suggest that it's supposed to be a war film, but I'm really glad that they didn't give that to us because not all the times bigger doesn't always mean better. And I'm liking how they focused in on uh, Caesar's story and just focus on completing his story arc. And this movie does focus more on the ape side of the story. With Dawn and Rise, you got more of that balance with the human and the ape characters, but there's more to do with the apes in this movie. And I like that this movie dares to do that. With movies like Transformers and Ninja Turtles, you've always wanted to focus on the the CG characters with the robots and the turtles, but they never really took that step into that world. And I'm really glad that this movie had the balls to do that because it made for an amazing story arc. One of the things I really loved about this movie was that it didn't waste any screen time. It didn't spell things out for you and explain a whole lot of exposition. It allows you to 
go on this journey with Caesar and discover things and learn things along with him. Really, when you explore all this movie has to offer, these last couple points are just really icing on the cake. I mean, this movie looks beautiful. You can take a frame in any part of this movie and it just looks fantastic. I love the look and feel of this movie. And this has to go without saying, the visual effects in this movie is just unbelievably good. The characters in this movie are the most realistic CG characters I have ever seen. I mean, throughout this entire film, I was just awestruck on what I was looking at. I mean, after seeing a movie like Jungle Book last year, I didn't think it can get any better. Like the CG was so amazing in that film and I didn't think that it could get any more realistic until I saw this movie. This movie just floored me with the visual effects. And as far as flaws go, I really can't find any. There wasn't really anything about this movie I didn't like. I mean, if you're going into this movie expecting, again, a war film, you're going to be disappointed because there's this movie do, isn't full of explosions and battles and blood and guts or anything like that. This is more of a drama, character-driven film, and they really dial up the drama in this movie. But I can see where the sacrifice for action to tell a more compelling story can turn off a few people and really disappoint people that were expecting this grand finale of a to this trilogy so really if you can just temper your expectation for what you're expecting out of this film and just really go in with an open mind for character and story i think you will really really enjoy this movie in the end this was a fantastic end to an equally amazing trilogy andy circus is great as caesar and he has one of the best character arcs throughout all three of these films the cinematography and visual effects are just breathtaking and the story just grabbed me and didn't let go so i'm giving war for the planet of the apes five stars so now I'm going to throw it to you. If you saw War for the Planet of the Apes, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Also, where how would you rank all three of these movies now that we have an official trilogy? If you like this review, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and check out some of my other videos. I do a lot more than movie reviews on this channel. Stay up to date on all of those. The subscribe button is right there. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.